welcome you all to my channel visual basic program here we are doing the payroll generation program in this case here input we are going to enter employee details here what employee id employee name designation and the basic salary these are the four input okay here you can see this text box you can see the name the name had changed to txt emp id here what, what is the name txt name and this is the combo box i have taken this one is the combo box and i have changed the name to what you can see here here cbo cbo designation so whenever you want to give the name to text box you start with the uh, what txt if you want to give to the label lbl and if you want to give to the combo box cbo okay you can see this one is the txt basic salary okay so now and this is the we are going to calculate what when you will enter basic salary after that you have to click on the calculate button i have created here one button you can see this button this button name i have given is that what cmd calculate salary and top of caption i have given calculate salary okay here you are going to calculate da okay so the text box name txt da here text txt hra txt tax and uh, txt gross and T txt net salary so uh, my suggestion is there when you will do or do this program first of all one blank form will come first go click on the form and go to the uh, which one font and change the size change the here you have to change the size of the font i i made change to 18 after that only i brought frame you can see this is one frame there are two frame i have taken frame one this one is the frame one and this one is this one is the frame two so frame one frame two you can bring it so that the size the size of the font will also change one label text box after that whatever you will bring the size will automatically will change okay so now let's do coding okay so now we have to add what designation so designation of an employee it could be your manager accountant clerk or uh, your engineer okay so we will go to the code how to go here you can see view code i'm going to the view code so whatever is there you delete okay if you will double click okay so we require we will write in form no so you just click on form so form is having only one event that is a form load event otherwise you double click on the form you will get this uh, form load event processor in this case what is that cbo what is the name i given to combo box cbo uh, if i forgot the name i can go here you can see this drop drop it contain all the object name you can see it contain all the object name and uh, what is uh, my object name cbo what is my object name cbo designation you can see cbo designation dot add item item suppose manager okay after the same thing you have to do what up to here you have to do copy paste copy paste okay so here i'm adding next item next designation of employee will be engineer engineer next will be your i'm taking accountant accountant another one i'm taking as a what, clerk okay so see how it looks like i'll execute you can see pop-up menu of digital comma box manager engineer accountant clerk now next uh, task is to i have to go to the calculate salary and there i am going to use select case statement for decision making okay 
and I will apply the rule from assumption I have taken for DAHRA deduction. No, okay. So what I have to do now? I'll uh, calculate salary. You can see what is the name? CMD calculate salary. Go to the code. Here is select CMD. What is the button? Button name is CMD calculate. CMD calculate. CMD calculate salary. Click event. Okay, I given to that one. So here what I will give you. Select case. Okay, here you have to give the combo box name. Select case. Then you have the combo box name. CBU. CBU designation. CBU designation. And you can leave here and select. In between go. And type all the case okay case first value will be manager if the combo box value is what manager then this first case has to be executed otherwise the case will be maybe your case value may be your what engineer engineer Okay, your maybe your case will be your what accountant, accountant, or your which one clerk. In that case, we are going to calculate the payroll. No, okay, these are the three cases I have taken. So let's uh, apply the formula. Okay, so it is very easy program I will say. If you forgot the name because we have changed the name, no. You can go to this control. It contains name of all the controls. You can see here the name of all the controls. And this one is the name of the all the events. So you have to uh, select the control name. Then you have to select here the event name. For any event processor you if you want. Okay, now here what is the name here? DXT DA. Daily Allowance. Okay, equal to, suppose I am making assumption 30% of, 30% how to write, 30 divided by 100, 30% of, 30% into of what, basic. So, what is the name I am given, txt, I forgot the name, what is the name, again txt, txt, you can see txt basic salary. TXT, TXT, basic salary. Okay, and you have to convert into which form? Numeric form. So that's why you have to use val function. Okay, so this function, and what is the next one? Okay, so like that you have to do. Next, what you have to calculate? TXT HRA, house rent allowance. This is the text box name. No need to give dot uh, TXT. Equal to suppose how much percent? Suppose 12 percent. 12 percent. So 12 percent, how I will type? 12 divided by 100 into what? Val of okay. Uh, he after that you have to do more copy paste work. Is there only okay? Basic salary. Okay. So see uh, next we have to calculate txt. Uh, what tax? I think I given the name text. Let me check it out. Whether I given the text box name as text or what? Ah, txt text I given. Is it txt text how much percent tax? Suppose if you have managements, you just have to give a, suppose 10% tax. 
of a basic salary property makes to basic salary okay after that you have to calculate what gross to calculate gross txt cross equal to what txt daily loans plus txt house rent allowance plus txt okay house rent allowance first uh, uh, for gross uh, first basic pay txt basic salary okay see stay txt basic salary plus txt b daily allowance txt which are okay, after that we are going to calculate txt net net salary so net salary will be your net salary will be your txt gross minus your txt tax okay. I, I hope so i have taken the name correctly okay check it out uh, okay so is I'm okay. All the name I took it correctly. Hmm. I hope so. Uh, let me execute. Okay, I'll save it. I'll execute. So, employee ID will select. Give some name Ramesh designation manager, suppose uh, 45,000. Okay, calculate. So, it is calculating. Okay, what it is doing sorry what it has done it has done the concatenation so it is not doing the uh, which one uh, because i have used plus separator so what it has done it has done the <coughs> concatenation so what you have to give you <coughs> have to convert into numeric form using val function val here also you use val then val okay here also it is what val val values which will convert the text to which form numeric form so this is only for one case for engineer for manager only i have coded in that for manager this is all this for the code for for your what for manager So now let's execute. Click here. Employee name. Designation. Select suppose manager. Okay, selected manager. So after that you give salary suppose 45,000. In that case, I have to click on what calculate salary. In this only I have given select case statement which will try to match with this uh, whatever the designation is there it will try to match with the case value combo box value has to be matched with the case value value wherever match is found the corresponding block of statement has to be executed you can see now okay daily allowance hra Okay, 59,400. So, what I will do now? I can click on exit. Okay, now, now next to do, do coding for engineer. What to do? No, only do copy paste now. Okay. 
after here you just copy paste copy paste even here in the case of your account and your clerk also is paste it okay and you change whatever you like to change you change it your, your this uh, percentage is your assumption only okay suppose for engineer uh, what is uh, what will be the uh, daily allowance okay so daily allowance suppose uh, so the 25% okay and hr related to be same tax deduction suppose uh, I'll make it at 8% okay now for clerk and uh, uh, accountant suppose um, what is the daily allowance 20% house allowance let it be 12% and tax will be 5% okay that's it only okay so this is the only coding part next so we, are, we have to save this uh, employee record into the uh, what into the database okay. select the post accountant salary suppose anything you enter that is your wish okay suppose salary is suppose 30,000 okay now you have to click on which button calculate salary button it got calculated you see DA HRA deduction gross salary net salary after that you have to save this record into into the database for that you have to create a back end table okay so in the next video i will create one table i will create the database then table uh, in the database what is the table name employee and i'll give the my database name payroll okay and uh, we will we have to connect uh, we have to connect using adodc and i will create my database uh, using ms access i will use for back end ms access and front end i have designed using visual basic so front end is designed using visual basic back end is designed using ms access and to connect this front end to back end i have used adodc okay Thank you for watching.